So, you're in the middle of the ocean. No land in sight. Behind you, Mondo Kahuna, the world's biggest, gnarliest wave. What do you do? Paddle till your arms burn, and then one, two, three, hop up! And then you get some lunch. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, dude! You totally ruined my shot. Huh, for your fake reality survival show? It isn't fake. It's test footage. If I want to get my own series, I gotta show producers I got the chops to pull it off. Speaking of pulling off chops, grub's ready. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Hmm, huge snowstorm heading for the Fortress Stadium. So we're leaving early to do some extreme conditions training. Up against Iron Tank? At the Fortress Stadium. Smack in the middle of the storm of the century. <laughs> what do you do? Tactical Division, progress report. The drill has half been working double time, Colonel Von Push-Up. We expect to find it in a matter of minutes. Ja, nein. You have been drilling for over three weeks. Why do you expect to find it now? Captain Uber, sir. I use statistical probability to determine that the longer we look for the artifact, the more likely it is we will find it. Hmm. Alps, we're gonna need some serious survival skills. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how will we ever survive these only partially reclining seats? Huh? I am tank? What are they doing down there? Salutations, team! Hey, Prof. Hey, Prof. Hi, Prof. According to my, um, calculations, a nearby cyclonic snowstorm enhanced by catabatic mountain winds means that in 48 hours, the weather will be inclement. Okay, that's fine, because we're in the Alps. Eh, I mean the climate will be intemperate, El Matador. No, 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 no. We're in the Alps. The weather's gonna be bad. What? I was just trying to help. As Northshaw said, Playing Iron Tank during a megastorm is going to take some serious survival skills. And I know just the place we'll learn them. Day two. We're rendezvousing with the Coachmeister. The best place to find the conditions we can expect at the fortress? Ah. Uh. This is cool. And I don't mean cool, cool. I mean cold, cool. With conditions already this bad, you can only imagine what it's going to be like when that storm hits the Alps this weekend. <laughs> huh? Shanks? Shanks? What are you doing, dude? Survival 101, bro. Always stick together. Look! Fine, fine, I'm coming. Took you so long. Wow, magnificent. It's greater than I could have even imagined. This is discovery. We will become the ultimate winter footballers. Gnarly yeah, 
toasty. Yes, that's more like it. Prof's new thermal kit should keep you comfortable in the cold. Now, meet your training opponents. The trees? Iron tank are substantially bigger than us. So our advantage will be speed and agility. Ha <laughs> ha! Easy! I'll just do a classic move like the El Magaspil! <laughs> but the freezing temperature and swirling wind make conditions slippery. So what do you do? You'll be playing with special elongated studs for grip. Hand over the long guys, coach. We'd treat you to what it's going to feel like to lose. That was a rather wooden performance. Guys! It seems I uh, may have gotten my calculation slightly incorrect. Looks like the storm is actually going to set in, well, right now. Ah, uh, this isn't good, dudes. Anyone got any ideas? <clears throat> Say it. Ain't gonna happen, brother. Come on. No ways. You know you wanna. All right, all right, all right. What do you do? We need branches, some pine cones, and a whole lot of determination. The storm has moved in early. Excellent. The perfect training conditions for the Victor footballer program. The information we have gathered from you know what? We'll make this storm seem like a stroll on the beach. But this weather is the first we have seen in decades. Perhaps. But the data I have attained from, mm hmm comes from thousands of years ago. The Ice Age. Come match day, we will freeze Super Strikers out of the game. <laughs> day three. We dug into the snow to create a hidey hole, sheltering us from the elements overnight. With the wind gusting up to 20 knots, wind chill took the temp down to way below freezing. Uh, North? Yes, Cool Joe? Thanks for saving our skin, brother. What do you do is a hit in my books. No sweat, dude. But we've got to make it out of here if that first episode's ever going to get made. Huh. <laughs> Not likely, guys. That storm's still in full. Oh! Shake the blow! Shakes! Step aside, gents. You can't be serious, man. Guys, our buddy's down there somewhere. And North is the only one with the skills to go after him. What? He is. Day three and a half, and your teammate has fallen through the ice. All you have is a rope and your wits. What do you do? Ah! Not that. Whoa. Huh? But what do Iron Tank want with a frozen caveman? I can't find ah. Have you seen it? You won't believe it. Truly incredible. Guess what happened to Thor's great, 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 great grandfather? I don't know what you're talking about. Come on. Do the face! No! 
Come on! I don't want to. That's an order! <laughs> Gives you meaning to the term dead ringer. <laughs> Attention! Enough silliness. The Super Strikers game is in one day only. We are here to... Is that... Hey, Thor. I think your great-great-granddad is trying to tell us something. He's not my granddad, okay? <laughs> Don't worry. Rescue party's here, Shakes, bro. Intruders! Spies! Get them! You're in a cave with a frozen ice man and Iron Tank are after you. What do you do? Jump! So, any advice on how to outrun these guys? Yeah, Mondo Kahuna. The giant wave. I thought you made that up. Everything on my show is real, Shakes. One. Two, three, pop of anyone. Okay, return to cave for the next phase of the Winter Football Program. 10-4, Colonel. <laughs> this real enough for you? Wow! Oh, cool! Wow, is this real? <laughs> Quite remarkable! An impeccably preserved specimen! No, 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 no! This is not a specimen, it's an ice man! So, Prof, can you tell us more about him? He lived in the last ice age. You mean colder than this? I'm considerably cool, Joe. At that time, the whole of the planet was covered in ice. And I and Tank are studying a guy who lived through it. Guys, don't worry about this. We have our winter kit. We have our studs. We're ready for whatever I and Tank or the weather throws at us. I don't feel the cold. Iron Tank versus Super Strikers, who has the edge? This game really comes down to which team is better prepared for the conditions. Men in red look right at home in these rather unpleasant conditions. 
unpleasant. <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about, Brenda. Team Super Strikers are better prepared than we thought. Special studs? Very clever. I hope your great 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 grandfather delivers. Ha! Of course he will. <laughs> He's not my grandfather, okay? Don't worry. Super Strikers may be faster than us now, but soon the cold will slow them down. South. This is not the ending I had planned for my first episode, Shakes. We were prepared for the cold, but not this. Yeah, dude. This game is slipping away from us. Hmm. Maybe slipping is how we can outrun them. Mondo Kahuna? Mondo Kahuna. Mondo Knudi Wadi, huh? You guys have been talking to Prof too much. Just get me the ball. I and Tank will be looking to capitalize on their home ground advantage right about now. Super Strikers are in hot water here. And so is Mac. <laughs> I knew you'd like that one. <laughs> Meanwhile, Shakes is having troubles of his own. Let's see if I and Tank can make this 2 1. Fantastic save from Big Bo. And he sent it straight to North Shaw. Cold, Brenda. Ugh. <laughs> no! Nice nice you nailed it! Yeah, Coach was right. Beaten Iron Tank did take some major survival skills. Given the um, circumstances, it seems only appropriate to be here overwhelmingly laudatory. Um... See? I'm not the only one who doesn't understand this guy. What I mean is... You guys totally rocked that! Woo -woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've uncovered an ice dude, trained in sub-zero temperatures, and beaten Iron Tank at the Fortress Stadium. Now, what do you do? You go back to Sunny Striker Land. Fire up the barbecue. And watch the most awesome survival reality show ever. I'm North Shaw. This is What Do You Do? <laughs> right on, man. Oh. 
Say goodbye to your great, 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 great grandfather for. Mm, he's not my great grandfather. And this was a stupid idea anyway. Sure. Guess you can't learn anything about soccer from a nice man after all. crosses into the box. It's the corkscrew! And the crowd goes wild! <sighs> Sorry! Ellen, this is a space station, not a football pitch. It's bad enough that you're using state-of-the-art monitoring equipment to watch a Super Strikers game. Oh, come on! I can practically see the broadcast satellite out the window. It'd be a waste not to use it. Asteroid 237 is within range. Let's get to work. Hey, did you guys see this meme? Ages ago, yep. Klaus. Long time ago. What about this fail vid? Check this out. Oh. 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 I saw that one ages ago. Well. I bet you guys haven't seen this. Uh, hmm. A blurry potato. No, El Matador. It's a massive asteroid called 237, and it's coming right past Earth next week. Well, you guys are going to be too busy looking down at your phones to look up at the asteroid. Seriously, Cool Joe? Why are you so anti-technology? <laughs> Dude takes old school to the next level. Yeah, old university. And what's wrong with that? Besides, I have a phone. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's not that old. Came with a fax machine attachment and everything. <laughs> Hello? Hello. This is the 21st century. You should join us here sometime. <laughs> hmm. Message from Coach. What's it say? The Orion game's been pushed back two days. Aw, oh, man. That's the same time the asteroid's coming past. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> <laughs> cool Joe's new phone. Charger sold separately. Classic! <laughs> <laughs> Posting that on Nata immediately. All right, all right. Which one of you guys did this? Shakes, you're being suspiciously quiet. Oh, he's just angry that he's not going to see the giant space potato up close. I really don't get why Coach Black moved the game. He's more into astronomy than anyone.
Ah, Super Strikers. Welcome to the Soccer Sphere. Hello, hey, hey, Coach Black. Black. So, Coach Black, why did you move the game to the exact time Asteroid 237 passes? Oh, so great to have another astronomy aficionado in the Super League. Imagine, Shakes, as the astral giant passes overhead, two Super League giants clash on the pitch. A fitting tribute, no? Yeah, I suppose. And what's in there? <laughs> uh, that facility will help us um, understand more about the asteroid. Cool. Can I check it out? I'm sorry, Shakes. Even the slightest interference could affect the readings. No one is allowed in Dome 237. Shakes! Practice! Hey, over here! Coming at you, dudes! Barba, Barba! Great stuff, guys! Forward! To me! Coach Black has his side tactically astute and defensively organized. Breaking them down is going to be tough. But we've got something that no amount of planning can stop. El Matador's brilliant shooting? Oh, of course, my mistake. It's my dribbling. Oh, he's talking about the corkscrew, big head. Pa! Cool Joe's crossing can't win games? You need a brilliant striker to score the goals. Ha! Wanna bet? Let's give this a spin. You see El Matador? With the corkscrew, even a dummy can score. <laughs> or one of those guys. Hey! Dude, that was amazing! How do you know exactly where the ball's going to spin? Practice, practice, uh... And what's that other thing? Oh, yeah. Practice. Till 237 gets here. And let me guess, the Natter satellite's right outside our window? It would be a waste not to use it. There's still a lot of prep to be done. We've got to be ready to analyze the composition, velocity, age, and trajectory of 237, as well as the electromagnetic and gravitational effects it will have as it passes. Because we're less affected by Earth's gravity up here, an object as large as 237 should have some unusual effects on us. All right, guys. Good practice. Ha, <laughs> yeah. You've earned it. Now, here's a story about a guy I know whose skill is out of sight. His funky grooves and his deadly moves give defenders all the fright. So, brothers of the huh? Super League, it's more about a shock when you go Orion hosts Super Strikers. Oh, anyone got reception? Uh, nope. Not me. Uh -uh. No, the asteroid might be causing electromagnetic interference. Said so on the Global Orbiter Natter feed. Well, well, well. I have reception. Yeah, that's because your phone is coal powered. <laughs> Forget your phone reception. Just make sure your attack is at full strength. Yeah, okay, guys, let's come do on, this. let's do this. And we're off. Neat position.
possession from Super Strikers. Dancing Rasta sends the ball to the left wing, and you know what that means. Aye, the King of Spin is about to lay down a royal decree. And there it is! Oh, so close! Early warning signs for Orion. Aye, but Coach Black doesn't look very worried. Finds Cool Joe. <laughs> huh? Oh, uh, what was that? Uh, cool Joe did the Orion Defender's job for them. So unlike him to miss the target. Another terrible cross. Even worse. What is wrong with Cool Joe's crossing? Hmm. Hmm? <gasps> hey, Roslyn, do you think the gravitational pull of the asteroid could affect objects on Earth? Hmm. Perhaps, but only on a very small scale like a spinning soccer ball. I need to warn Super Strikers. Uh, for research purposes, of course. It might be a little difficult to get hold of them with 237 interrupting the phone signal. Analog frequencies should be immune to the effects, but I don't think anyone still uses phones that old. You can do this! Cool Joe sends the ball straight to the opposition! And now Ryan can counter my ball! Huh? Super Strike is a real trouble here! Oh! Huh? North Shaw misjudges the cross! Big Bull goes the wrong way! Woohoo! Yeah! 1-0 to Orion. And it all started with Cool Joe giving the ball away. Yep. In the space of one game, the King of Spin has completely lost his touch. This is rash, irresponsible, and downright dangerous. Come on! There's an old communication satellite right outside. And, and it would be a waste, waste not, not to, to use it. it. Do you have any idea how many asteroid fragments are flying around out there? If one of them hits you... I have to warn Super Strikers. don't know what happened out there, Coach. I placed all those crosses perfectly. It didn't look like it. Can you please turn that off? I, I don't know how. Yeah, they hadn't invented the reject call button when that phone was made. Wait, really? Yes, it doesn't have one. <sighs> Fine, answer it. Uh, listen, I can't really talk with... All right. Which one of you is behind this? They say they're calling from a space station. Was it me? me? That's pretty good. If it was me, I'd totally claim it. Who is this? Cool joke? This is Ellen Thrace from the Global Orbiter. I hate to be pushy, but you need to listen. Now. This connection's dangerously unstable. Asteroid 237 is interfering with... Global Orbiter, I'm coming in. 
like right now. Do you guys have any idea what that was about? She said the asteroid is interfering with something. Our phones? I'm pretty sure she didn't call us from space to tell us we can't use Natter. Well, what else isn't working? Hate to say it, but Cool Joe's Crossing? Would explain why the ball's spinning all over the place, but can an asteroid do that? Bet we could find out in Coach Black's research facility. Ugh, but it's off limits to everyone. Uh, no it ain't. I saw the whole Orion team come out of that place last night. this got to do with the asteroid? Let's find out. Now it's working? <laughs> I don't get it. Hmm. When in doubt, push the big button. Gravitational reverse commencing. Black created a way to reverse the spin of the ball? Not created, emulated. Asteroid 237 is messing with your crossing. And Coach Black trained his guys in here so they'd be ready. You think you can adjust? I don't know, brother. I've been practicing the corkscrew so much it's instinct. I can't just switch it on and off. Hmm, maybe I don't have to. half is underway. Can Super Strikers find a way back into this game? Keep it on the ground, guys. Short passes. So you think Cool Joe got the message? I really hope so. Then where is... Oh, look! Cool Joe switched sides with Twisting Tiger. Well, he can't do much worse than he did in his normal position. You sure this is gonna work? Not at all. watching soccer on the state-of-the-art monitoring equipment? No, this is research into the effects of the asteroid on a soccer game. Uh, hello? Is this thing working? Reading you loud and clear. Wow, I can't believe I'm talking to a super striker. <laughs> I can't believe I'm talking to an astronaut. 
Ha! Who knew it would be so easy to get Cool Joe into technology? Yeah, all he needed was the right motivation. Do you guys mind? Huh? Yeah, seriously. Can we get some space, please? <laughs> How much more space do you need? It. El Matador, dude, we're here for three days. What do you even have in all those bags? Kit bag, casual wear bag, smart wear bag, toiletry bag, hair dryer bag, fan mail bag, and spare bag bag. Wait, wait, wait. You have a bag to keep a spare bag in? Uh, you don't? <laughs> welcome, welcome, Super Strikers. I trust you'll enjoy your stay in our wonderful city. Thanks. I'm sure we will, man. Yep. Especially when we kick Cosmos' butt. Yeah. <laughs> you, you said got it, that right. <clears throat> and Shakes, where is the rest of your luggage? This is it. <gasps> you don't even have a spare bag bag? Are we in some kind of alternate reality? No, Tiger Man. We're in Las Vegas. Oh, wow! Amazing! How can Brock sleep through this? That dude can sleep anywhere. He better wake up soon, or he's going to miss the greatest city in the world! I can't believe Buddy Watkins has a giant sign of himself. Talk about over the top. Yeah, you guys just don't get this town. Vegas is all about the showmanship. And luxury and five-star cuisine. Apparently, they have the world's most expensive dessert here. The 24 Carat Golden Sunday. Woohoo! Yeah! Amazing! Vegas! Las yeah! Vegas does not have a good effect on him. Bring it on! Good stuff, Klaus. Great composure, Shakes. El Matador, keep it simple. Come on, coach. This is Vegas. We need to put on a show. Just ask them. Man, Cosmos are pulling out all the stops for the halftime show. Well, if they interrupt our next practice, there will be fireworks. I'm calling it for today. We can't train with all these distractions. Especially you, El Matador. Huh? Where is he? El Matador, your away form is amazing. Three goals in four games? What's your secret? Well, it's all about doing the right preparation, Lena. I stay in the best accommodation, eat the best food, and train in the best facilities. Then, I score the best goals. That's it. We're getting away from this madness. Will you stop that? How can Coach be so cruel? Denying El Matador life's little luxuries. What you thinking, Mr. Watkins? Well, Ninja, 
I'm going to give El Matador exactly what he wants. This has got to be some kind of sick joke. Ah, and this room is the punchline. Oh, not even Block could sleep on this pitiful excuse for a mattress. Chill out, dude. It's just two nights. Yeah, yeah. Hello, reception? Uh, can I please get a 6 a.m. wake-up call? Why don't you set your alarm? Oh, can I at least get some room service? What do you want? A 24-karat golden sundae with extra golden sprinkles. Golden sundae? I think not. Ah, seriously, what's in this thing? El Matador, pull yourself together. How can I, coach? We're in Vegas, and you're subjecting us to bad food, bad training facilities, and the worst accommodations in the world. The only bad thing around here is your attitude. Keep it up, and you'll be doing your sulking on the bench. I don't ask these things for myself, coach. I need the best to play my best. I'm doing it for my team. Oh, yeah. You want to eat the world's most expensive dessert for our sake? What a hero. Hey, El Ponytail. El Matador! Yeah, whatever. You got a package. Dear El Matador, this message is for your eyes only. Do you mind? <sighs> I see now that you really do need the best to play your best. So here it is. <gasps> he understands! P.S. Don't tell the others. I don't want them to think I'm playing favorites. No problem, coach. Shakes, where's your roommate? Uh, not actually sure, Coach. Haven't seen him since practice. Hmm. Hello, you've reached El Matador, professional footballer and all-around legend. Ah. Huh. Try checking the nearest luxury hotel. Wherever he is, he can stay there. Come on, Coach. El Matador may be a little self-involved. Okay, extremely self-involved, but... There's no way he'd put anything ahead of a game. <sighs> Fine. Go find him. And make it quick. Kickoff is at 3.30. Hey, man. What's the fanciest hotel in Vegas? You're standing in it. Fanciest place in town has got to be... Hello? Hello, Mr. Matador. Buckingham Palace Hotel front desk here. This is your 9 a.m. wake-up call. Is there anything else we can do for you, sir? Hmm. I've got the best accommodation and the best training facilities, so all I need is... One 24-karat golden sundae with extra golden sprinkles, please. Excellent choice, sir. It will be with you shortly. <laughs> I'm such a big shot in this town, I can even decide what time it is. <laughs> what? Shakes? 
Make sure he doesn't find out El Matador's here. Hi. I'm looking for a friend who might be staying here. Uh, his name I'm is... I'm sorry, sir. But here at Buckingham Palace Hotel, our guest's privacy is of the utmost importance to us. Okay. Thanks anyway. Shakes! Shakes! Can I please get your autograph? <laughs> totally. Of course. What's your name? The 24 karat golden Sunday. I give you my jersey instead. Throw in your boots and you got a deal. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> the things I do for football. El Matador, sir, your 24 karat golden Sunday with extra gold sprinkles. Just leave it there, thanks. I'm on a roll here. Delicious! Hmm? How did you get over here? Shakesman, what happened to you? I think I know where El Matador is. Buckingham Palace Hotel. Told ya! And? You know how security is in those places. But I did send a message up to him. Uh, you shouldn't have bothered. The only way he's getting anywhere near a football pitch is if he's mowing the lawn. It's March night in the city of lights. Mac, we spoke about the singing. Ah, come on, Brenda. We're in Las Vegas. And I'm gonna commentate my way. Well, we may be in a city known for its big shows, but we've got a no-show in the game. Aye, Lanky is on for the missing El Matador. The Super Strikers number 20 hasn't even made the bench. Very strange. We have a clear pattern in this game. Super Strikers attack and Cosmos defend. It's going to take something special for the men in red to break through. Watch out, Cosmos! El Matador is going to have the perfect game! Huh? Check the time, you're going to miss the game. Shakes.
Matador. How can I help you? Huh? Mr. Matador, hello? <gasps> the wake-up call. The elevator. I've been set up. Ugh. Ooh, comfy. But I cannot rest now. My team needs me. Escape plan. Stupid extra smooth silk sheets. Huh? Hello, reception. Uh, can you please send up another golden Sunday? We're almost at the end of the first half, and Super Strikers are getting desperate. Yep, they may have had all the possession, but haven't been able to find their way through. Huh? Ninja gets the clearance. And he doesn't waste any time. The counterattack is on. Casually <laughs> oh, done. Stylish goal by the Cosmos star. <laughs> and he knows it. But it's all gone wrong for Super Strikers. Despite controlling the first half, they've missed that little bit of extra magic up front. Mr. Matador, your 24 karat golden sundae. I'll just leave it here then. Very good, sir. This is not how a football superstar leaves the building. The hotel you booked me into, they betrayed me. Locked me in the room. The hotel I booked you into? Are you serious? Look, I know you said in the letter that you didn't want the other guys to know, oh, but... Oh, uh, so now I sent you a letter. Of course! You think I'd make this up? Well, then let's see the proof, brother. It's in one of my other bags. Let me guess. Your imaginary letters bag? Listen. I love the best food, the best hotels, and the best training facilities. But nothing is more important to me than Super Strikers, the best team in the world. All right, guys, bring it in. One, two, three. They're on the bench. You guys got to believe me. I was set up. Oh, yeah? By who? Please give a warm round of applause for Buddy Watkins' Buckingham Palace Dancers! It's Buddy's Hotel? Maybe you were set up, El Matador. Coach? You gotta let me get back at that guy! Please, put me on! You've had the best food. Accommodation and training facilities. So get out there and put on a show of Vegas proportions. What? How'd he get here? The missing El Matador has returned. But he has his work cut out for him. Cosmos are set up even more defensively than in the first half. Looks like Buddy Watkins is holding out for a 1 0 victory. Any ideas? Get the ball to me in the box. I know how to catch them by surprise. Whoa! Somehow, Shakes has threaded it through. But El Matador still has plenty to do here. And oh! Mr. Watkins, 
thanks. A night in the best hotel in town seems to have really helped El Matador's game. For our last night in Vegas, Buddy has kindly offered us five-star accommodation on the house. <laughs> More like on the palace. 24 karat golden sundaes all round. Booyah! Well, you guys deserve it. Even you, El Madden. Again? Really? Yeah, where is that deserter? <laughs> he says he's had enough luxury for a while. <laughs> Get off! <laughs> 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 